Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Philip Miller, The Adventure Zombie. For those of you who are not familiar with my channel, this is my 2021 Subaru Crosstrek Sport with the 2.5 liter engine and the automatic CVT transmission. And today, I wanna to talk about everything Rallytech. I've been running Rallytech parts on my car for quite a while now, and I think it's past due to have an update video about those parts talk about uh, why I like the parts that I chose and why I think you guys should choose Rallytech parts for your Subaru. So first, let's go ahead and talk about the parts that I actually have installed on the car. I got Rallytech two inch top hat spacers and at the same time, I had installed one inch raised springs in the front from Rallytech and the Rallytech one inch overload springs in the rear, which I'm not sure if those are available just yet, but I know they will be very shortly, so keep an eye out for those uh, for the 18 to 21 cross treks. I also have um, the Rallytech engine and transmission skid plates and the Rallytech rock sliders that you'll see on the side of my car there. In the back, I have the Rallytech heavy duty rear lower adjustable control arms. And in front of that, I have the heavy duty Rallytech adjustable trailing arms. So why did I choose these parts and why do I like them? I went with the Rallytech skid plates because I, really like the fact that they are a thinner plate and a lot of people see that they're only an eighth inch skid plate and they kind of balk at that. Uh, a lot of people go for the primitive racing skid plates, which are 3 16 I believe. Uh, however, having had these on my car for a long time and have ran them off-road and dented them several times, I will say that these, being as thin as they are, they not only take a blow when you hit something, but they also are very easy to straighten back out. Now, I have a primitive racing skid plate for my rear differential, which is about this big, and it took me longer to straighten that skid plate out than it did to straighten my front engine skid plate, which is about this big. So if that one was also 3 16 I don't know if I would even get it straight. You know, it's, it's one of those things that, I mean, I guess if you wanted something that hardcore, sure, but the every time I take a hit on the rear differential skid plate, it is like jarring, jars my teeth out of my head. And I land on a rock on these front skid plates and it feels a lot softer because that skid plate is absorbing some of the blow. And so that's one of the things that I really like about the Rallytech skid plates. Now, the Rallytech rock sliders, on the other hand, those are heavy duty and 3 16 inch steel all across the bottom. Absolutely bulletproof. I love them. I've got a dent in my driver's side one, but it still functions great. You can use it as jacking point, uh, even on the outside edge. Obviously that's not ideal, but if you were in an off-roading situation and you needed to jack up your car and you only had access to the outside edge of the rock slider, you could jack up your car that way. And uh, I mean, I like to show people the video that I did on the rock sliders. I took it out maybe, what was it, day after I got them installed, the skid plates and the rock sliders. And I took them to the Shotgun Creek area here in Oregon, and I ran them through the ringer. Absolutely. Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll show a little clip here of me pushing a boulder out of the way. That is just one of the things that you can do with these because they extend out past the side body panel of the vehicle, the door panels of the vehicle. And so you can use it as a pivot point to get around trees, uh, to push rocks out of the way, obviously, for all kinds of things. They're also seven inches wide 
And so they extend past the pinch weld and they even sandwich the pinch weld in the middle. And so it protects the pinch weld completely while they're on the vehicle and they allow you to be able to slide over things with absolute ease. Rocks, dirt, gravel, snow, doesn't really matter. Uh, they work absolutely fantastic. They are also great as running boards. You can use them to stand on to access the stuff on your roof. I mean, they just, I cannot talk these things up enough. The design on these things is different than everyone else's rock sliders for these cars, but I will also say they're probably better than all the other rock sliders for these cars. And uh, I mean, if you don't believe me, watch my video. <laughs> Uh, let's see, I talked a little bit about the top hat spacers and springs. The combination of the top hat spacers and the springs has given me three inches over stock height. And so that gives me quite a bit more ground clearance down there and has made me a lot more capable and able to get into a lot more areas that I wouldn't otherwise be able to and paired that with the Bilstein B6 struts. I mean, I remember coming back from my first trip and I told the rally tech guys that I felt like I was in a rally car. They grip the road. They are fantastic for handling in off-road situations. I don't run sway bars and flying around corners and going over bumps and all that. I didn't have any issues. It was a very fun ride, and I will say that this is probably one of the best suspension su setups out there right now for these cars. You can check out my Mount Shasta video, and you can see some of the fun stuff that I was doing in the car. I was traveling probably 45 to 50 miles an hour on service roads, hitting ruts, going over rocks, all that. And I mean, it handled it with ease. I absolutely love the suspension setup uh, you pair that with the control arms and the trailing arms in the back i mean i absolutely obliterated my stock ones and so i kind of had to upgrade and luckily rally tech had these heavy duty adjustable ones and i have beat the absolute crap out of these things and the trailing arms with the round tube the thick wall round tube they basically deflect anything you hit with them. And the control arms, I hit something when I was in Illinois so hard that it actually stopped the car when I was going downhill. I hit a rock on that control arm and it hit, the, hit so hard that it actually stopped the car at about 15 miles per hour. The control arm was bent, yes it was, but I would be very <laughs> surprised if it wasn't. A stock trail, uh, uh, sorry, control arm, a stock control arm would have been in two pieces, guaranteed. Um, as it was, I was able to get an alignment and drive it 4,500 miles and get it back home, take it back into Rally Tech, and we got the part replaced, and now I'm back up and running. No big deal. So, not only are they bulletproof, they also have a lifetime warranty from Rally Tech. They stand behind their parts, and as long as it's normal wear and tear, off-road use, that way they can make better parts and improve things. Now, I've talked about all the parts that I have installed from Rally Tech. Now I want to talk about why I think you guys should choose Rally Tech parts for your Subaru. So I already mentioned that they have a lifetime warranty. Um, the other reason why I think that Rally Tech is the good choice is they are constantly trying to improve their parts. And so the parts that they make, they are production parts, but if they see an issue, if an issue is brought to their attention, and they realize that it's not just a one-off issue in the manufacturing process, for example, uh, 
they will make sure that it gets corrected. I'm reminded of uh, an example where Tom the Dilettante, where some of you may know him, uh, he got some ditch light brackets from Rally Tech. Those are the ones that pop up over the hood. And he installed the pods on them and everything. And they were actually touching the hood. And so, yeah, okay, you could have bent it back and no big deal. But what he did was he notified the company, notified the guys at Rally Tech, and told them about the issue, and they looked into it and found that it was actually getting warped slightly from welding uh, the brace on the back of the bracket. And so they went ahead and made tolerance gauges for the manufacturer, so now they can check every single one that comes out of the factory and make sure that it's within tolerances and that won't happen again. So. Those are two big, big reasons I think you should choose Rally Tech and why Rally Tech is right for your Subaru. I'm sure a lot of you people are thinking that, you know, Rally Tech probably paid me to say this or whatever. Now, I am partnered with Rally Tech, but they don't ask me to say anything specifically. They want me to come out and test their parts and make videos on it, and that's what I'm doing. And so when I tell you guys that I love these parts and I stand behind these parts, that's coming from me. That's not coming from Rally Tech. That's not, you know, somebody telling me to say stuff. That's just me going out there, testing the parts and saying, you know what? These parts are awesome. So I hope I help convince some of you guys about Rally Tech. And uh, thank you all for watching. And if you haven't yet, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.